Hey guys, welcome to another installment of Just an Opinion. And today, not so much an opinion as a question, although I will flavor that with my opinions, as I tend to do, carry optics on handguns. So this is all the rage to put a carry optic on your handgun, whether it's a competition gun, which is really where that got started, or some sort of a duty application, which I think was the next progression. And now, carry gun, uh, home defense, that sort of thing. So again, this it really is all the rage. Um, almost every new handgun being designed is being at least considered to be made with a cutout on the slide for an optic and many of them are coming right out of the box that way. So the question really is, is it really an improvement or are we just all drinking the Kool-Aid? Alright, so let's break it down to categories. So first category, competition. You've got your competition gun, 5 inch barrel, light crisp trigger, all of that kind of stuff and you want that extra edge and you put an optic on it and you train with it and you get proficient. Okay. I'm, I'm all about that and most sports now have a separate category for equipment that has an optic on it. Good, good use for it, good practical use. Duty gun, if you're in the military or you're in law enforcement and your duty gun has an optic or you have alternate duty guns that have optics on them, either handguns or long guns, yes, you can certainly see where there would be uh, a use for that and obviously there's going to be training that goes along with that and I think that's probably the recurring key theme is training. But now more and more we're seeing them on concealed carry sized guns, even the micro 9 millimeters. This is a Glock 19 Gen 5 for case, in case anybody didn't, didn't recognize that. Um, but we're seeing them on carry guns that are tiny as well as this size. Also for home defense, you know, that, that nightstand gun. Like a lot of tools, they can be very useful if you apply them properly. So many people, like every other tool, don't always apply them properly, and the tool ends up being a negative instead of a positive. Let me talk about a couple of those points. First and foremost, and I'm talking about without any extensive training, the red dot optic on your gun is going to be a slower acquisition to target. It's going to take you longer to get your sight on target and be able to break a shot than it's going to be with open sights. I can almost guarantee that no matter who you are. So you do have to put in some time to train and you have to train consistently and you have to train with the same gun and the same optic because once you change either of those it's going to change again. I can tell you firsthand <laughs> You can have the fastest draw and the greatest grip and the perfect stance and push out and be going, where's my dot, where's my dot, where's my dot, for about a second and a half before you're able to break a shot. And that, in my book, is not an improvement. It adds size, obviously. It takes up physical space. It adds some size to your gun. And it adds size in the height category and that may not be the best place to have some extra size on your carry gun and it adds a little bit of extra weight that little bit of extra weight is on your slide so that's a little bit more weight that is reciprocating with each shot and it's on the back of your slide which is going to put the weight this way so it actually can add to the recoil impulse and this one ought to be obvious but you know it's something that can fail. It is a device, in this case it's an electronic device. Electronic devices fail a lot and so it can fail. It can be damaged. It's, a, it's an electronic device made out of glass. Do the math. So if you're relying 100% on having an optic on your gun, you're relying on something that can easily be damaged or broken and put out of service or just plain stop working. And lastly, and I've touched on this by saying training, 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 but there's a learning curve. And it's a learning curve that a lot of people don't allow for. They don't expect that there's a learning curve. They may even be, you know, with their heads so, so deep in the sand that they put it on the gun, stick the gun in the nightstand drawer, and think they're good to go. Um, and, and I hope <laughs> there's not a lot of people doing that because there is a learning curve 
and you do have to put in some time and train with it. But I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer or a complete killjoy. There are a lot of benefits and positive aspects to the optic on your handgun or people wouldn't be doing it. With training, and this is going to be the caveat, with taking some time to train with your gun with the optic on it, it can have a number of benefits. One of the biggest advantages that I personally have noticed with an optic on my handgun is faster transitions. I'm able to move from target to target, back and forth across the, the bay in the range doing drills or shooting in a competition or whatever, much faster with, with less over travel of my handgun and things like that. I'm able to follow that optic, that red dot, uh, and again, once you get used to doing it, a little bit of training, but once you get used to it, I think me and everybody I've talked to finds that they have faster target transition capabilities with an optic on their gun. This next one could be a plus or a minus depending on how you look at it. I'm going to look at it in the positive light because I'm a positive kind of guy. This optic will give you a target centric visual focus. So instead of looking at my front sight like we've all been trained to do all our lives, I'm going to be looking at the target downrange because this is simply projected over it. It's a parallax free, so you know no matter what the angle is that I'm looking through the, the glass at the target, that dot is going to be superimposed and once it's properly zeroed, that dot is going to be where the impact is expected to be. Having a target centric focus in a true defensive situation could be very beneficial because a lot of people who haven't had extensive training and just don't automatically go front sight, front sight, front sight are going to be focused on the target anyway. The threat is going to demand your focus and that's where you're going to look. Uh, and I'm not going to get ph philosophical on that argument whether that's the right or wrong thing to do. It's just the reality I think. Human beings are going to focus on the target, that thing that they consider dangerous. And so this allows you to focus on the target downrange and still put your sight on that target. It also is very helpful to folks that are, you know, my age, uh, a little older, whose eyesight is starting to be not quite as crisp and clear as it used to be, uh, especially in lower light and dark situations. So this certainly is a visual aid to people who don't have great eyesight. So if you notice that you're starting to have a little bit of trouble keeping that front sight crisp or being able to see the targets that are maybe 25 yards down range, um, this could be a very good aid for that. It's also a, obviously a good aid in low light situations or even in complete darkness. So that's my opinion or my <laughs> collective set of opinions and thoughts about carry optics on handguns. My question to you is do you carry with an optic? If so, I would love to know why and if you don't, I would like to know why not. Put it in the comments down below and hopefully we can have an interesting conversation. Thanks for watching. See you next time.